10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Your goal 4, for APU shut down on time. 2, 1, liftoff. Go and throttle up. This is Escape Pod, part of the Outbreak Podcasting Network. Visit our website at outbreakpodcast.com. And now here's your hosts, Tony Brown and David Anthony. Everybody, look at the camera. Don't be a, don't be a dick. You said be professional. Yeah. No, I don't be a, no, that's not going to work. That, that's not you. <sighs> One or the other, man. Make up your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> the language on these guys. <laughs> okay, everybody look that way. Welcome out to this episode of Escape Pod. I'm your host, David Anthony. Tony Brown. And we have some special guests. We have the Snyder Boys, Jeff and Dave Snyder. Yay! Thanks, guys, for coming out. Hey, thanks for having us. Well, you know. Well, we, 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 we've had you on a few times, and now Jeff was on the Star Wars review from, uh, from, the, right. from The Last Jedi that he regrets. But other than that, uh, well, he regrets the movie. I think he still had fun on the podcast, didn't you? Sure. Oh, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was a good time. Welcome out, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I know you have uh, a limited amount of time because you uh, come in town usually around the uh, holiday of Halloween. It's time to go, dude. Time to go. Oh, thanks. Well, we're <laughs> wrapping this up. <laughs> Took his podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time. Beep, beep. No. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, no. But, I mean, because you, you like to spend time with family, doing, mm-hmm. and, which is great around the holidays. Try to. Uh, yep. So, uh, <coughs> did some uh, did some makeup and stuff on some of the nieces and nephews. Two of the nephews, yep. Very cool. Very A couple cool. of zombies. Excellent, excellent. Everybody loves zombies. Excellent, excellent. So, um... So I guess let's uh, let's let's start this back a little bit. Um, we have been uh, friends um, for a long time. I met uh, Jeff through uh, Alan Hardesty. Uh, high school. In high school, yeah, that was because you, you went to different high school than I did. Yeah, I was we going to say you guys we were, went to different. But we were both in band, and we had the, the fondness of that. And that's how I met Alan. He was a drummer in Catholic High's band, and and then his great friend was Jeff and he became my great friend because uh, I love this guy yay uh, fun, I do. fun fun I do I do I do we don't had get to hang out nearly enough no we don't but uh, <clears throat> life sometimes does that to us but uh, we always have those memories man oh yeah oh my god going down to the yeah. arcade over by your house and <laughs> and the old Malco theater there and that uh, was it used to be Lincoln Mall or something mm-hmm. man that was now it's a church yeah I think yeah it is it is Pumpkin a church Pumpkin Porsche <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jeff and I were talking about um, uh, on the way over. I said, I don't know. I have no idea what we're going to talk about. With anything, we everything. A, and he had a very good suggestion. Go ahead. Just <laughs> the Porsche? No, no, no. What? Uh, we can always touch on that. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking of the everything that we saw as kids that that. That we both loved. Oh yeah, science fiction, that horror, us. yes, music um, that got us, and, and and that's that's kind of the direction I went. Yeah, he went, but he always brought me along. Oh and, yeah, uh, well I tried to on loved, a couple of occasions. Yeah. We yeah. loved all the old '70s <clears> stuff, <throat> and yeah, yeah. He went with it. I, I kind of steered toward music, but yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, man. We we did have a lot of good times <clears throat> back in yeah. our earliest days watching. First run reruns of the original Star Trek. Yeah. Which they showed on WBKO out of uh, Bowling Green. Bowling I think. Green. And we could only get it in black and white, half static, on <laughs> Channel 13 or something, which mm-hmm. wasn't even a real channel. It wasn't CBS or ABC <laughs> or NBC, which in right. those days, that was your only choices. Fox didn't exist. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, it's like we would sit there and watch it. And just wonder what I wonder what color that Gorn is because he's just gray here. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was that was a good impression. Actually, that was really good. <laughs> You've seen it too uh, many times. Too many times. Mm. Exactly, exactly. But they, uh, but that, but that was like you said, man. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of good stuff that we we did and and uh, and, and like involved with um, like you doing the, the makeup and stuff. I mean, we you know, when we were kids, you were. It was more like you weren't. Well, I shouldn't say kids because high school, but mm-hmm. kids, 
But, to uh, me, high schoolers are kids. <laughs> well, now, but now, you know, I guess you're right. Because I'm 100 yeah. years old. <laughs> but at the time, we were like, we were like, hey, man, we were, we were, so, we were so grown up young men is what we were. But, uh, but man, we, you know, we did, um, uh, you were fans of movies, mm-hmm. not just, you know, and, and of course that interested you doing the effects and the, and the makeup kind of stuff, really. And then Jeff, big fan of the music of the times. I mean, I remember when we got, was it, uh, God, it was one of the Van Halen albums. And we brought it over to your house, and we sit in your room, and we listen to that whole thing all the <laughs> way through. Must be down. No, it, 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 it was it was newer or than was that. It? Yeah, it was uh, more recent or older. It, it was either I think it was the first one with Sammy, maybe, or maybe it was the one oh, before yeah. that. Not quite sure. Yeah, it's and he he's, he's he's like I was drinking a little bit since then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But do people uh, even do all? that anymore? Do What's people that? like hang out, listen to new album albums? By myself. New streams, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think they just sit around and listen to YouTube. Yeah, that's you what know? that's what she does all the time. Because I know when something new comes out, the first thing I do is throw headphones on yeah. and go like out in the field by myself and just sit right. and listen to the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you that's know, I get we, that. Did that yeah. st- we did that stuff a lot. We listened to a lot of different albums and stuff. I mean, I remember. Steve Miller band put out a new album. I mean, even was, that one wasn't great, but we listened to the whole thing and we were like, eh, okay, you know. But we always had a, a fondness for music, and then you know, movies. I mean, we, whatever the newest movie was, or things coming out, The Howling, and all these, you know, mm-hmm. kind of movies that were like, oh, it's great. These, you know, now they were like classics, but uh, but at the time it was like, you know, it was all that was new, man. That was just coming out. And, it was pretty groundbreaking you know, for the it, time, and it was, and it was and all it was, way before digital. And it's that was all the things that kind of got us together, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, totally. uh, because we all had the same fondness and fascination with those kind of different. Uh, I remember trying to drag Jeff to see it was either Gremlins or E.T. Just <laughs> because for me they were really cool puppets that their eyes could blink and they could do all this crazy stuff. And he was like, "Why would I want to go see <laughs> that?" <laughs> and I kind of thought about it. In fact, I think I came over to the old arcade and you guys were probably hanging out. Mm-hmm. And I was, and I think it was E.T. Because I had seen, like, in one of the trailers, this light passes E.T.'s eye and it constricts. And wow. it's like, that's a practical effect. Somebody built a mechanical eyeball that could do that. And I was like, ah, I gotta go see that. Yeah. And Jeff was like, <laughs> and very logically so, why would I want to go see that kid's movie? <laughs> So I went by myself. Uh, but you did see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. you had to, really. <laughs> had yeah, to. You know? Yeah. Was heading in that direction. So, yeah, had to. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, with him, it was music. You you know, you really oh, yeah. really got into a lot of different music, which was great. And, yeah. And, uh, I mean, what, um, you could probably could have played just about anything, but what made you, what, what you made you draw, I guess, to go to bass? Um, Paul McCartney. John yeah. Paul Jones. Yeah, some of the greats. Um, uh, a lot of other ones, you know. I mean, later ones, like, like Flea, and, and just yeah. like mm. after I played a while, I was like, eh, I got to learn how to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I loved progressive rock. Yeah. Uh, yes, and King Crimson, and like these guys were all over the place. So it was, wow, I never knew a bass could sound like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I am. That's cool, because I couldn't. I couldn't do the, you know, lead and stuff. And I'm, as a drummer, I would have been helpless. <laughs> so. You did play my drums a couple of times. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, uh, yeah. Oh, it was it was bass, and exactly. I just I just got a feel for it. it just felt yeah. natural when yeah. I started doing it. So it's. Well, I, I, I can say this for sure that you definitely were a good bass player. Uh, uh, we uh, yes. You're too kind. Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, you got a Philip Kabicki, and you burn that thing up. Still got that. Uh, that's Still awesome. Work. That is awesome. I mean, those things are really rare, really hard to, really hard to find really? too. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, see, that stuff I know nothing about. Uh, and he, and he so. was. Uh, I mean, you're, I mean, your brother in this world that I know him from, it's like you know, I mean, he was. Well, I he remember was, coming to see you guys yeah, play. You did. Yeah, you did. No, yeah. I, I heard heard you play, but you know, as far as like whatever the name of that was, that's like. <laughs> But that uh, was Terror, know. was what we were in. I, it was a that was of the names. main one, I guess. Yeah. Was the was the one we were probably the most. The one we'll have pictures of later. Okay. <laughs> so were you? <laughs> did you play with pick or no pick? Both. Both. Okay. My fingers were way more natural because I can feel where I'm at. Right. Yeah. Instead of. Because a couple a couple dudes I knew like they were like I I hate playing with a pick. It's it's just weird trying to play bass with a yeah. pick. Because and plus a lot of the guys they were like popping all the time. 
Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and yeah. a lot of the stuff when when he played too is like when we because we played covers, mm-hmm. so it kind of depended on on what song we were playing. You right. know what I mean? Because it it could call for thumb slap or just the traditional you know kind of thing, or yeah, it could style. call for a pick. And if the guy the used play. a pick, <clears throat> I used a pick. Exactly. As you can tell, you could just hear the difference. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah he, and uh, and he was also he, we won't admit it, but he was actually really good as a as a you know as a backup singer because a lot of times there was a lot of songs and stuff we did that he would fill in the harmonies. You know, it was like oh that sounded great. And I'm like oh well, that was Jeff doing that. That was awesome. You know, <laughs> <laughs> nice. he had a mic for a reason, and uh, and he used it quite often. I don't think he ever ever did lead on a new song, did you? Or do you remember? I know I did. I did one or two, I think, and they were not not good. But it was fun. So you didn't pull the Phil Collins and sit behind the drum ah. kit? And <laughs> no, I, uh, I think, I think uh, one of Keith, Keith got behind the drums, and uh, and uh, and I was uh, – was, there was two songs that I know that I did. One of them was uh, – uh, oh, was it Louie Louie or something like that? Because that was just a slur drunk anyway. I was going to say uh, I yeah. could sing that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'll do it exactly. right now. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, and then I think the other one was uh, at the time Georgia Satellites. Depending on uh, at the mm. time, but because we, we, we were together like three years or so, but Georgia Satellites had that. And one, one of the songs that we did was uh, Battleship Chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Memories. Yeah, and that was when I, I came out from behind the drums and you know jumped on the girls. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, just gonna stay. Uh, well, I remember a couple of different practice places you guys had. <laughs> one was, oh boy, what was that one that was upstairs over? Where you would go into Lincoln Mall from Beach Road, and I don't remember what the business was before. Oh yeah, it was like a like Patty's place or something. It was a, yeah, it, it was maybe a fabric store or it, some it, damn it thing. It was or, uh, like a consignment like a shop. Consignment mm-hmm. shop? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, and they moved out. There was that dismal upstairs. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there was a place downtown. Up on even a, more dismal. Oh, more dismal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, we had a good view. Well, we kind of <laughs> got in trouble for cutting a wall out because we wanted to make oh. our practice room bigger. And, oh. and the, the owner <laughs> come up one day and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> He was, he wow. was so mad because he was like, you know, this is a structurally sound building, and you can't just cut whatever. Well, the other guys <laughs> did it in their room, so we thought we could do it in ours. We thought we that could was, use the entire yeah. first floor. That was our answer. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, he, as long as we kept paying, he, he, he was fine with it. We had to put up a few support beams, I think. <laughs> but uh, but that was pretty much it. It was a weight-bearing wall. <laughs> so, yeah, load, load-bearing, that's it, yeah. Yeah. I see it. We really did, man, because make because it was two old rusty rooms together. I mean, they were crumbling walls and shit. so we just cut the thing out and make two rooms. I think that building's gone now, isn't it? Uh, no, it's actually still there. Is it? Yes, because a the, lot of the old ones are gone. Yeah, the um, some some of them are gone. Yes, but the one that we were actually in it, that part it goes up, but it's all been gutted and redone. So it's just the like the frame of it's there, but like the top part, those are like apartments and stuff now. Yeah, yeah. It's wow. crazy. I went up to somebody's loft up in one of those buildings, and I was like, holy smoke, how is this Owensboro? <laughs> because it was just so different than what you usually find around here. It was very cool. Yeah, yeah. And it, because uh, I remember the... Um, it was Raleigh's, Raleigh's brother? <laughs> we had to... We had to <laughs> something like that? We had to pay the um, you know, the electric bill, obviously, because that was the only thing we had was, was electric. And it was, you know, we had to look the little meter... And there wasn't electricity run to our room, so we we had we had the meter, and we had cords like tied into that, and then we were on a cord all the way down the hallway to our room, and we put a bunch of different things off it so we could <laughs> power up all the instruments. And at that point, the meter's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But the thing was, it was like you know. Then eventually, I think one time the one of the guys came in, the meter reader actually came in and did his job, and checked it, and he's like. You guys can't have this shit. It's not legal. What the hell are y'all thinking? Of what? You burned the whole goddamn family. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, whoops. <laughs> Here's money for the bill. What did we know? Get that kids. fixed. Okay, thanks. Never did. But you know. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was some scary some scary practice places. Those were the days. They were. <laughs> it wasn't in one place that. Um, was it the Eastway Cafe? Yeah. They would let us actually practice there if we were the next band yeah. to play. And then we Where did that, that for a while. Oh, that was 2nd out, Street. Out 60. Yeah, 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 at, at 60. Around, Sorry. Uh, what is out there? Around the Trader Bakers and whatever is out there now. Yeah, 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 the, the, the power plant and all that stuff. Yeah, that was a cool place. It was a cool place, but it, uh, it ended up mysteriously burning down. Because so. you... 
jacked no. up some wiring. No, no, no. We hadn't played beer <laughs> yeah, in over right. two years before when it burned. So it has nothing to do with us. And um, action. Uh, bears. <laughs> yeah, bears in, uh, in Candleton, Indiana. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, I think I remember that. I think uh, I remember going over there with Gene uh, Brown. It was a dive, but I loved it. Once or twice. It. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was to see you guys play. Yeah, I had to have a few shots up there. But, you know, <laughs> what? Sorry. What's that? Anyway. anyway. Be a safety girl. All right, then. But, yes, that was some good times. Uh, <laughs> I don't like getting myself in a lot of drill and shut up. But anyway, but yeah, you actually came out and saw him play a few times and mm-hmm. stuff. That was fun. Yeah. We, we yeah. used to play the barbecue times. festival a lot. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, too. And then uh, and then I was like, oh, this other band wants to go on their own. They want you to run their light show. Okay, I'll do that. And uh, then I left the band and kind of <coughs> fills it out. Since then. I'll do, play in other bands. That happens yeah. to Brian a lot Gaffer of bands. stuff. <coughs> went on to play in other bands and stuff, too, but... And I miss it. I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't done that. That was a. It was a definitely hey, a big mistake. Man. But I still had. It was a year and a half. I was with Nick's, and that was a lot of fun. We stole Bobby Miller later. He did. Played with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that led you to becoming the ice cream man, though, dude. That's true. Oh <laughs> Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. But you know. But that's uh, that's another podcast. <laughs> so anyway, back to the Snyder Boys. Ah, shut up. Ah. Billy Woho. Woho. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we were easy to say, Mom, and we were trying to, uh, to, I'm sorry. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, thanks, Dave. Thanks a lot. <coughs> I haven't had enough of these yet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Beverage. And now drinking. for a commercial break. <laughs> yeah, no, not not quite yet. How are you doing on yours? You good? Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay, you let me know when we're in low, and we'll take a we'll take a commercial break. How are you doing? You doing I'm all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where's yours at? It's gone. Already? I don't <laughs> let my beers get warm, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry. Well, we're not ready for a break yet, but in a few minutes we'll take one. Gosh. I'll just slide it out of scene and disappear. <laughs> we're going to take a break. I'll just do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> we're still plugged in. <laughs> dragging, a, <laughs> dragging a set with him as he goes. Oh, my goodness. Good times. Well, I guess um, I guess, I guess we could, since we've been talking about it, we might as well show some of those pictures. Well, let's, just, let's, just, let's just do that. How's that sound? So you know what's when, coming. So. When did this all begin? Oh, gosh, I don't know. 80s? 73? <laughs> This was Yo, the 80s, right? On, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you and I still worked Juvenile in the Juvenile delinquent? Yeah, yeah. We worked Because a whole bunch of them came out and saw us one night. Yeah, that's right. We worked at the Briar Patch. Whew. I'm sure it was the 80s because there was a lot of hairspray and Early feathering 80s. going on. Yeah. Okay. Early All right. 80s. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So there's the there's the group shot. That was the <laughs> earlier one because that was the... Keith, uh, I don't, I don't know any of those guys. <laughs> that's Keith. That's me. It's Heath. Uh, it's you, and then the Brian Gafford. And, and look, isn't see, that the guy from Holding Up? You see that right there? <laughs> you see, you see the bandana? That was actually uh, one of your promo bandanas from uh, from Buckaroo Bonsai that you gave Jeff. Hmm. You wore that. And then that was the band uh, a couple years later after. Uh, um, Keith left the band, and it was just us. Oh. And uh, in your Aquanet, I can't uh, laugh too loud because about, there's uh, some embarrassing <laughs> stuff coming up <laughs> oh, for me. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming up next. But yeah, but that was another shot of the band, and uh, and then yeah, this is uh, <laughs> Gina Brown. I uh, of Gina Brown's parties. Thanks, Gina. This is Gina Brown's toga party. There's David. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> me right there. That's a, that's a he fake was, shot. He was studying that night. Simulation. <laughs> I was it was a fake. But anyway, and then uh, there's Jeff and his ball sack. And, uh, and then uh, then there's uh, K- K- uh, Keith. and uh, I'm protecting my yeah. balls. And, uh, <laughs> and Cliff, Cliff Greenwell was in this. And then uh, Dave uh, got a grip on the situation. Yeah, that was about 100 pounds ago. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, there we go. So, yeah. So back to, back to that. That wasn't too bad, was it? No, it wasn't no, there a lot go. of feathering well, it going hasn't on back then, man. There was a, <laughs> there was, there was no one a, we know has mm. seen it yet. <laughs> um, no, don't worry. We'll get to your early days here in a second because uh, oh, we, talked, we, talked uh, we talked about that as well. Your, uh, your, um, your first movie that you actually got um, – was we covered that for? two podcasts. We ago. did, we did, but we're going to cover some more because we uh, we we <laughs> <laughs> because I want to torture you. <laughs> oh, no, yes, no, because we uncovered the uh, the behind the scenes that I didn't know existed. Mm. It was on the apparently it was on the one of uh, them. the Blu-ray. Nobody's one seen the behind Uh-oh. the scenes that I have. Oh, I, I mean. shot a ton of video behind the scenes on that. I was that. working for twenty five at the time, so I had professional gear. Oh shit! I just took it with me and shot constantly. 
Okay. Cool. And whoever put that together, um, they didn't contact me for. <coughs> so maybe I'll do my own someday. You should. You should. Mm -hmm. Well, you want me to play it? It's only two minutes long. I, it's your podcast, yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to play it. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and Jeff also is, is in some of these scenes because he was helping Dave. Now, let's, let's set this up. There was um, some of this. Yeah, you put those on so you can hear. Um, there were some of these um, scenes that we'll see that yeah. we were at your apartment. Yeah, well, the way the whole thing came out is I was working at 25. I saw in the newspaper one day that somebody in Bowling Green was going to make a movie, mm -hmm. horror movie. So I called the newspaper. I got this guy's number. I called him up, and I said, have you got somebody doing your makeup effects? And he was like, eh, well, we're going to interview for positions for that next week. I told you guys this before. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, they had hundreds of people they were going <laughs> to you know, go through. Uh-huh. And they were like, yeah, have you ever made a fake head? And I was like, sure I have. And so I talked to Lewis Cheney, and he had a niece who was like 11. Mm -hmm. And I did a life cast of her, and she was, you know, did a little face, put a crappy wig on it, and I took it in and showed it to him, and they were like, Really? You know, because I think they thought they were going to get mannequin parts from a department store, you know, with ketchup on them. Right. Uh, <laughs> so they were like, this is amazing. <laughs> so I got the job. But I was in an apartment. I didn't have a workshop or anything. Right. Um, I was in at Town Square Court. Yeah. A little yeah. crappy uh, one-bedroom apartment. They're still there. They're still there. And so I had them bring these different actors over, and Jeff helped me do. We had two fake heads, so we had to do full alginate life casts and build all that and another girl we did all kinds of crap so we had to life cast all these people and that's where jeff jumped in and you know really helped me get all that preliminary work done yeah yeah and so that's part of what you'll see in this yeah and that's and that's the thing too i mean like you said you, your brother you, you kind of went along with him because but you were a big help in him oh, absolutely because he knew how the materials worked he knew the whole thing. It's like even when I do a life cast here, if he's available, I'm like, hey, come and help me because he knows how the process uh, works. so long ago. You know? No, no, not so long ago. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... We did uh, a couple here in town. And that's cool that, so. that you, you know, that he, you know, he's still got your, he's still got your bro to help you out, man. Oh, he yeah. got you back. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll play this. And do you want to... Do you have headphones? He, unfortunately, there's only the one headphones. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, that makes me feel bad. Well, you, you do no, all no, the no, talking no. in the video. <laughs> yeah, okay. <coughs> Ready? It's not very long anyway. But um, here we go. Hey, look at those effects. Special. <laughs> now I can talk over this, right? Yes, yep. Because I have no, I do not remember doing that interview. That's funny. I don't know where I was. And that's your apartment there. Yep, that's the apartment. That's Jeff and I. And but that, yeah. I don't know where this was shot or when. I'm clearly cleaning clay out of a mold. Yeah. But I thought I built all this crap in Owensboro, and that's that's not Owensboro. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, that's putting a twisted neck on a girl, which the effect wasn't great because they didn't shoot the way I told them to. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, it shows it here. I think it's yeah. a little behind the scenes. I even shot this on video and cut it together and said, this is how you need to shoot it for it to make sense, and they just disregarded that. Yeah. And those are, that's one of the live casts Jeff did with me. Um, nice toolbox. <laughs> yeah. Tackle box? Tackle box that I painted black to try and make it look slightly more professional. <laughs> <laughs> and there's... Yeah, that's Dan. Uh, and he then, gets a baseball shoved in his mouth and it gets his head oh knocked yeah, off. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that guy. Yeah. yeah. And that's it's you guys together. <clears throat> that guy contacted Lewis Cheney about a week ago asking if that head was still around and if he could have it. Wow. <laughs> like, well, that's pretty presumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they're doing a screening of Haunted Wayne somewhere, and that's why I wanted it. Oh, oh wow. But cool. no one's contacted me about that. Yeah, I'm sure not. And they still owe you a little money, don't they? Jonathan Huff will go uh, crazy yeah. if that's I don't expect to see somewhere. that. <laughs> 30 years later. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wow. Honest to God, I don't remember that. <laughs> well, it happened. It was big. Video proof. <laughs> no, that was me saying this is due tomorrow as a finished product, <laughs> and I'm cleaning clay out of the mold. <laughs> that's funny. So well, that's there it. There you go. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So you want to ask about the 
The hair? You we were talking about that earlier. I mean, it's just there was a whole lot of feathering and <laughs> parties in the back. I mean, I suffered through it, too, to get to this. So, <laughs> oh, like when you were six? <laughs> when I was, I, no, I decided to grow my hair when I was like 11. So, yeah. like 86. Okay. So, you know. I'm, I'm not too far behind you guys. <laughs> so I suffered through the mullet. Just, and just <laughs> enough to tease us. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just enough, enough to, to <laughs> poke a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony's good at that, aren't you, Tony? Sometimes. <sighs> anyway, but yeah, but yeah, that was. Um, oh, you're about empty. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're going to be taking a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in just a second. Hello, this is Chick McGee, and you're watching Tony Brown and David Anthony from Escape Pod on YouTube. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit it. I'll just wait until you do. Hit the subscribe button. This has been Chick McGee speaking. Thank you. Want to listen to a great podcast? Then go to our website, OutbreakPodcast.com, and click on the links for Escape Pod to watch and listen on YouTube and iTunes. Check out the latest episode of Escape Pod with hosts Tony Brown and David Anthony, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. For more great interviews, go to OutbreakPodcast.com with interesting guests every week on the Outbreak Podcasting Network. Go to OutbreakPodcast.com today. And we are back. Welcome Ooh. back to the podcast. Uh, hey, hey, you like fresh it, beer. Tony? Fre fresh beer and potty breaks all around. Yay. <laughs> good times, good times. Oh, yes. Beer. Not that I, you know, drink much. But hey, uh, welcome. Welcome back, guys. Uh, um, I was trying to see if there was a, I heard some rumblings about a haunted ween showing somewhere, but I don't see anything. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll we'll find out if that's if it is actually going to be played. Where is it going to be played? I'll see if I can get more details. On yeah, it. that'd be great. It'd probably be Bowling Green. The twentieth anniversary edition is now available. Ooh, I should probably get a free copy of that. <laughs> yeah, well, th that speaking of that, <clears throat> the twentieth uh, anniversary uh, DVD that you could buy from their website, uh, there is the 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 writer, director, producer, producer. Doug Robertson. Doug Robertson. Yeah, he has a. Um, I, I noticed on eBay that there. In fact, I think it's him that's selling it. Has a autographed copy from him and him only selling on eBay for four hundred dollars. Hmm. <laughs> well, then he can finally pay me what he owes me. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I guess he still owes you a little bit, huh? Hmm. Mm, you know. Uh, yeah. If I charged interest, yeah, it'd be a little <laughs> higher than four hundred dollars. <laughs> that is funny, uh, yeah. but uh, but but in 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 seriousness, that uh, uh, friend of ours, uh, which he's actually was our first podcast ever, um, which was Scott Sexton. Scott Sexton. Yeah, he is a huge fan of the Haunted Ween movie, and, and he really he really did have. Mm -hmm. He even bought the Blu-ray when it came out, and he is would talk he to him about it all the time. He's mental, yes. He's, yeah, I was going to say, is he mentally sound? Well, he, he got hit in the head a few times with wrestling. But no, he really, he, you know, you, sometimes Sounds you... Sounds like you, he got hit in the head a few yeah, times with Hunt and Ween. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you latch on to, so, you know, I mean, like, to me, it was like Night of the Comment or Buckley no, the Bonsai. No, I get it, I get it. You know, we grew <laughs> up with a little... I love Night of the Comment was great. Oh, yeah, we saw it in together. Hell yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it in theater. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Attention <laughs> shoppers. <laughs> hey, girls. I hope you have credit cards to pay for all that stuff. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we wound up just randomly sitting and watching it when the last time we were supposed to be doing stuff with the studio, and we started <laughs> yeah. talking about it, put it on, and like, like, yeah, it's on. We're like, oh, oh shit, we were supposed to be doing it's stuff. It's a great little early 80s horror film. It is. It's got all the, all the elements that you need. And then I was, t I was telling him that the uh, most of the people that were in that movie. Um, a lot of them were in um, were the people that were behind uh, Eating Raul. Did you ever see oh, that movie? I think I tried to watch it. It's it's rough. <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a it is That's a B like, slash uh, horror movie. Mary Warnov and uh, yeah yeah the, Paul Bartel. Yeah, well she plays the 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 I guess the scientist that's trying to yeah to, that ends up killing herself and, and trying to save the girl because um, thinks they're doing wrong. But that she was actually in Star in the Both. And then the the I guy might love it now, but. Back in those days, it was like nah, I don't get I don't get a frame of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and then the the, the actor that played uh, the lead in uh, Night of the Comet, I uh, can't think of his name. Save my life. The Latin guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, he was actually he was yeah, actually I don't, I don't he was actually Raul in oh. eating Raul. He was wow. the star of that one. Okay, this Voyager guy. Yeah, Star yeah. Trek Voyager. Yeah. That's the that same him. guy. That's the same yeah. guy. Yeah, because he was in Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> wow. Yep. I had no it. idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. That was that was his most famous role. Speaking of um, can't just, make I mean, it through a movie, I tried to watch so. Under the Skin. <laughs> oh yeah, it was real rough, isn't it? D- I don't even. I, I fell asleep. Yeah. Like I saw the good part in the beginning, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> I was. Uh, we were talking about movies. That um, early movies for actors and stuff, and in one of the movies we were talking about was uh, uh, Under the Skin, Under the skin. Uh, with um, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson, where she gets nude a lot in it, and it's oh, uh, is that where she's an alien? Yes, yes. yeah, yeah that's a weird movie with some is. random <laughs> pool of black that did like suck the people. Well, you know, a lot of that stuff when she's driving around the car picking up guys, they shot that for real. And then after the fact, if they felt like it was a good take, they would ask whoever random dude was that she stopped oh, if shit. they could use the footage, which is why it's, like, weirdly realistic, because she's just okay. coming on to these dudes for real. That's awesome. From a car. <laughs> she just pulls up to some guy walking down the street, and she's like... Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, I'm looking for a post offer. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck And if it worked out, they would be like, okay, well, we're actually making a movie, so could you sign this, you know, and let us use the footage? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's the behind the scenes on that is actually pretty interesting. I might have to watch that. It might be better than a movie. Yeah, I just I started watching it and I just dozed off and then I woke up and then I can dozed off again and then I the last thing I saw was (laughs) the end of the movie with the random trucker guy like chasing her down in the woods and then she peeled her skin off and then he lit her on fire and yeah I didn't understand any. I was like okay, is like her alien form gonna come out and then no, it was just the other dude in the motorcycle just yeah. Looking around, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's how it's going to end. All right, <laughs> great. Yeah, it was it was some weird movies. Uh, yeah, so uh, but yeah, as, as it goes back to uh, to Hunter Ween, there's some people that really like, and he was he was <laughs> He's not going to let it go. Must not, we? Not, not <laughs> Must go. we? Well, like <laughs> I said, he was a big fan of Hunter Ween. Jeez, I should have brought a fake head or something. But um, bum, inside joke. Be funny. No, anyway, we're moving on. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it's all so, good. So, uh, so yeah. So, um, well, gosh, um, I don't even have my notes anymore. <laughs> I had my Hey, I'll take these. Oh, I remember yeah. I passed them over to you to, before they get the address. That's okay. That's, we're good. We're good. Thanks. You're telling me I need to be professional. Shut the hell up. Anyway, <laughs> he's the editor. Time for a break. So. <laughs> we're gonna and we're gonna be no, no, we're we're, we're here. We're I gotta here. fly tomorrow, so uh, hey, there's, you really? only, there's <laughs> only so many breaks we can take. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We're gonna wrap this thing up. No, so let's talk about some of the stuff that you have been working on recently. Can we do that? Um, yeah, briefly. Briefly? Okay. Yeah. You're ready to go, huh? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, speaking of Star Trek, is that a better tie-in? When you were talking about Star Trek Voyager, he's actually been working on what movies? Uh, what shows? Well, a couple of the new TV shows. Um, there's one shooting in L.A. called Picard. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think a lot of the information is out there. I mean, people clearly know Picard is in it. Right. And Jonathan Frakes has directed some of the episodes. Now that's cool. Which is kind of cool, because yeah. I also worked with him as a director on The Orville. Very cool. Very cool. And also on Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> Very cool. I just went up to Canada like a week or so back and did a couple of days on that one. But I don't know anything about any of the plots, because those are shows where I do what we call day playing, which means yeah. when they need extra people, I go in and I'm told, you know, here's your pieces, do this makeup. Right. Watch them on set, and then you're done. Right. I well, never see a script. I never see any information. They and, won't and, even and give me a call. Sheet, and that's so. the thing is that we, we you know, I'll let everybody know here. We, you know, Dave does a lot of stuff that he has to sign uh, uh, clauses and non-disclosure of, uh, agreements, non-disclosure agreements yeah. for. And we don't we don't want to touch on any of that. It's just a, just no, the no, fact I that know. you're I able know. to work on some of those projects. They're pretty awesome. And I didn't even know you said you actually worked on the Orville. Some? Uh yeah yeah I, again I just day played on it. A that's little great bit. though. But see I love that show. So. I love that show and that's been picked up for another season and it's it's now they're shooting be now. on on Hulu. They picked it up on moved I it all to no Hulu. Idea. Yeah well they have. they have. I tried to watch a little bit of Star Trek Discovery because it's on CBS All Access mm-hmm. and they were offering a free month. Oh cool. So I took it and I couldn't get it to work on any device mm. that I had. Not oh, my no. computer. Not my phone. So I just canceled it. I was like, well, I guess I won't watch that show. <laughs> wow. Because it just didn't work. Right. 
Right. For me, anyway. Yeah. Eventually, I, I think actually season one, I think, is already out on Blu-ray and stuff. So it is out mm. there. To so is the, the Orville with Seth, one of the Seths? Yeah, McFarlane? Seth McFarlane. Yeah, yeah. the okay. family guy. Stewie. Guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. That's um, yeah. Who that. he wanted to do Star Trek because this is before Star Trek got re-upped as a TV series. Yeah. And he contacted him and said, "I want to do a Star Trek TV series," and they were like, "You know, go f yourself." So yeah. he made the Orville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Which is basically the first few episodes are kind of like wacky, funny, mm-hmm. but then it settles down into basically Next Generation. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it is kind of that show. Yeah, it with still a has few its more funny jokes. moments. Yeah, it yeah. has, but it's not, it's not as wacky as like Family Guy. It's yeah. it it like, after three or four s- episodes, like I said, it kind of settled down into, freaking Star Trek. And it's getting a huge fan base. That's why people. Yep. Some people were upset, like, oh, it's going to Hulu. It's like, that's probably the best thing that could have happened to this. Well, show. Well, where was it? Uh, it was on, I think, uh, one of the Fox channels. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But it was, uh, but definitely by going to Hulu, and Hulu picked them up for several years. So it's got a. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, you know something to work on. Sleepy head over Excuse here. Excuse me, no, no, no. Mm. Just, um, just you know what? Last night or night before last was uh, was Halloween, so it's been uh, it's been a long couple of days for all of us. Yep. Trust me, I know about that. Yeah. Um. So we'll, 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 we won't uh, we won't beat you up too much longer. I promise. Um. Mm-hmm. But there is some other things that you worked on, uh, like um, like uh, Westworld, mm-hmm. which uh, we love that show, and it's coming back for the new season, which I think is one you worked on. And yep. then uh, I've worked on a couple of different seasons again, day checking. Now, so is, in is, and out. is something like that, um, you know, because I know like some of the movies you, you know, you've done, like you come in, you make like do a bruise or that kind of thing. But is that actually some of the some of the like robot type effects or a little bit? Um, it's mostly naked dead people, <laughs> because if you've seen the show, you yeah. know, whenever the robots get killed, they just pile them in these big rooms mm-hmm. in a big heap of people. And yeah. some of them are dummies, and some of them are real people. People that we they strip them down and we paint them dead, and sometimes put wounds on them and bullet holes and whatever. Yeah. And then throw them in a heap. Huh. Uh, yeah. And then there's other days. I did a thing on uh, Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. First season, I think, where he. Second season, because first season you don't know he's a robot. Right. Second season, so he's sitting end. in a car and he pulls like a wire out of his mm-hmm. arm and does some damn thing and yeah i did that that's cool um and a couple of gags like that but mostly naked dead people yeah <laughs> to uh-huh. be honest <laughs> that's still cool though that's still cool and then um like i said you you've also and you and um i guess your girlfriend claire mm-hmm. have worked on a lot of movies together or shows together which is very lucky that yeah. uh, not probably as many as you'd like but um no, she, she overall we've been pretty fortunate she yeah. works she works for what greg nicotero studio correct yeah. Can be, yeah, can be, and so you're able to, um, to you know, do some day stuff when they need because mm-hmm. they already know his quality work. Uh, so working on The Walking Dead, yeah, the Walking she does Dead. more of those. Now there's a new Walking Dead show. There's a third one. Yeah, do you remember what the name of it's called? I or? don't think it has one name yet. Oh, oh well, never, never mind. Oh, we'll <laughs> it's get in trouble. So new, it doesn't have a name. But it's, the it new one. shoots in Richmond, Virginia, and she's heading back down there, over there, uh, mm-hmm. in, in a couple of days. That's cool. Like right after I get back, so. Wow. So you get to see her for a few days and then she's gone, huh? Uh, two days, I think. Yeah. A day and a half. Wow. And sometimes that's good for a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Uh, Claire, honey, <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. Not that she listens to this podcast. <sighs> when she finds out Jeff's going to be on it, she'll be like, I got to see that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, I'll just tell her right now, you're more than welcome to be on the podcast, too. We'd love to have you on. I know she She'd won't do it. She'll never do it. <laughs> I know she won't. <laughs> no. I know she won't. But I'm going to ask. She's too shy. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. Oh, I'll get her to come out of her shell, don't you think? Maybe not. Maybe we get her loaded. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring lots of these. Nah, wine. Uh, wine, okay. It's going right. to be good quality wine. <laughs> well, uh, let's, uh, the, another thing that was on here, there's a, a picture you sent me um, of one of the, the greats uh, that's worked on a lot of movies. Um which is uh, oh Doug Jones, Doug yeah. Jones, the man. and uh, <laughs> coming guy. He's he's was in the Shape of Water and yeah, he's in Star Trek Discovery. He's like the main alien dude on the bridge. When when he he's in Hocus like Pocus? Kind of big, oh, somebody said know. somebody I yeah. think somebody said he was in like he a Hocus was the Pocus. zombie boyfriend or whatever. 
Yeah, that was pretty much if there's an awesome movie, he was it. I mean, yeah. or awesome yeah. monster in the movie. <laughs> He's been in all the Guillermo del Toro's movies. Yeah. He yeah. was, you know, that guy with the eyes in his hands and yeah. uh, uh, all the Hellboy movies. Yeah, all the Hellboy oh, movies. Which leads to all the that good, fish guy as well. Good Hellboy movies. The good Hellboy movies. Yeah, this was from uh, uh, What We Do in the Shadows yeah. because first it was a movie, I think, yeah. and now yeah. it's a series. Yeah, they turned it. So into this a was the, for the pilot. That's we did awesome. them in L.A. Now I think they shoot up in Canada for the series. Very, so very I just cool. did, we did a couple of days with them for the pilot. And I remember I, a while back you you were wanting to say something about a, the new Hellboy, how much you appreciated <laughs> the fantasticness of it. Well, I didn't see it. <laughs> I saw the trailer. And that was enough, wasn't and it? It was enough to know that I didn't need to see it. <laughs> it's like I've already seen this movie. I don't know why you've remade it, and it looks worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, it's <laughs> I like I, I didn't, didn't like the it Hellboy makeup. It, yeah. it looked like the same damn movie that I'd already seen once. Yeah. You and, know, where he's got the horns with the yeah. burning crown and all that. Yeah, I've seen all that. Yeah. I've seen and, all of that. And the, and the actor that played him is great in Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I just don't think they needed to to re- to replace the original actor. Not not that soon, anyway. Maybe no. twenty years from now. You know, Ron Perlman yeah, yeah, is think, amazing. Yeah, I think Ron is probably over it. I mean, he's oh, getting yeah. up there. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, he was he was the quintessential Hellboy. Yeah, you, you just you just everything about his facial structure and his body type and, and his attitude. His attitude, yeah, the way he played it. Yeah, I mean, he was he was Hellboy. It's like, yeah, yeah, they should have left that for another twenty years, and then yeah. then yeah. maybe yeah, when we're all dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too, too way too soon. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But yeah, I, th- I thought that was I thought that was a that was a good shot. And I appreciate you. Send me that. That'll probably be the promo for the uh, for the episode when it goes up on YouTube. Sweet. Yay. Uh, it already but, looks uh, like it is. Hey, well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the, uh, um, so um, I guess um, something else we wanted to talk about, um, which um, I guess one of the one of the recent things you have done. I'm not sure how long ago you've done it because sometimes movies, you know, it's it comes out in November. What is the? I'm in, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, which is the uh, Harley Quinn movie uh, mm. called Birds of Birds Prey. Birds of Prey. Yeah. 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 And um, so, what can you tell us about that and, and working on that? Anything? Well, maybe who you worked on? Maybe because mm. we all know who the villain is because it's in the trailer. Well, that's true. Yeah, I worked on uh, I worked on Obi Wan Kenobi. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, not the whole show, but there are certain things that happen to him within the context of the film that yeah. I took care of. That's awesome. Um, and then I worked on another character who I'm not sure. Is featured in the trailer, so, so we won't I talk about can't it. Really yeah, yeah. Talk it's about cool. But you actually got to work but on the movie and work with some of the cast. I did, and that's one where I actually worked on the whole movie, that's which cool. is a nice break because yeah. that means because when I'm day checking, that's fine too. But it means I carry all my crap. You know what it's like if you guys do a location thing. Yep. You take all your stuff, you set it all up. Yeah. You do your job, then you got to break it all down and take it back. But when you're on something for like three months, you take it and you set it up. And it's just there every day. Yeah. All you got to do is get yourself to work. <laughs> you know, you're not packing yep. crap the night before and carrying it around at four in the morning. And yeah, you know, well, in like the dark. Were, like when you worked with Stan, you had a real nice setup there because you were there for the whole time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a good, solid thing. You know, everything was established. You know, you know where everything is in every cabinet, and you're not digging stuff out of boxes, going, "Ooh, where did I put that bottle of crap?" You know, right? Right. I was so mm-hmm. bummed out that that didn't. Yeah, we're really hoping to get picked up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that was kind of my summer vacation. <laughs> it was yeah, was Stan. It was a hard show. It was a lot of work, but it's like I loved all those people and you know yeah. working with Dana and all of them. Well, we so. really appreciate me and Tony do that you uh, that you uh, helped get us access to come down. I, it was great that you guys visit. could come out. It, it was, was so you know, fun. It was yeah, an amazing experience. We learned a lot by doing it. Plus, we got to to meet a lot of great people. Um, it was a good bunch. Mike that worked with you, he was super nice. Yeah. So Mike McCarty. Yeah, he, he, great. And uh, he had some good stories to tell <coughs> too, which was which was <coughs> awesome. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that was that was awesome. We we do thank you for that. So. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm glad you guys could make it. I, I was it was fortunate enough by the third season, I knew people that I could ask and say, hey, can these guys come play? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and they were all super, and they yeah, treated cool. us like. Like we were any other news organization, which was which was really nice because I was like, <laughs> act like you know what you do, Tony? Huh? What? Just smile a lot. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Great. 
Just I'll set up over like here. You belong there. That's always the I secret. Was, I was following everybody else <laughs> wherever they were doing. I was just acting like I knew what I was doing too. Yeah, and then and there was uh, we have on our on one of our podcasts that we released was the interviews that we had to sit down with all the cast and everything. Of course, there was mm-hmm. other news organizations there asking questions, and then and then just out of nowhere, little old Dave just gets balls up and asks a question, and he was like, "Oh, hey, he's got one over there," and I was yeah. just like, and as soon as you I started asking, it. I was like, "What did I do? What did I do?" <laughs> Well, just talking about acting like you know, you know, <laughs> uh, like you, like you belong there. My little yeah. sister came out to visit. Jenny came out to visit like way back in. She was getting jobs in California for a little while there, mm-hmm. and I was working on Babylon Five at the time. Mm. And I asked my bosses. I said, you know, can she come visit the set one day? And they were like, yeah, that's cool. So I made her a little belt, you know, that had like some little pouches and crap on it, mm-hmm. so she looked like you know. And I just said, act like you belong. Don't don't look around like oh, should I be here? You know, just act like you belong. And she yeah. fit right in. No one ever said a word to her. That's and awesome. she's just like this little blonde girl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as they knew, she was part of the crew. Because there's so many people on a crew, you never get to know everybody. Right. right. There's always somebody that you see and you're like, I don't know who that is, but you're not going to go question them. Right. You know? It's Dave's assistant. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly. You know. So yep. that was that was kind of cool. Dave's assistant for the day. Jenny's too busy to come out now because she decided to have a stack of children. <laughs> She'll see this podcast, too. So Oops. we got a sister. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Love ya. Oh, goodness. Goodness. But yeah. goodness. Good times, man. But, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier with the, the movies and stuff and the stuff that inspired us. It's like, you know, all that stuff in the 70s and 80s. I don't know. It's like what you know. <laughs> what were the big ones for you in the eighties? Eighties? Or was it more seventies for you? Yeah, seventies. Yeah. Uh, all the all the um, the specials they used to have on with the Sasquatch. Oh yeah. Um, hidden monsters and whatever and. Uh, well, even uh, was it um, the uh, something globe pictures uh, or golden something. Yeah, there was a Sasquatch one. There was the one about Noah's Ark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were... Um, they in, were a, in, like in search uh, of, that kind of thing? No, these were movies. These were actually oh, okay. like yeah. theatrically released, and, and the company was called something Globe or something. I, yeah, I'd have yeah. to look it up. But Were they uh, the same... Was it the company that did like the... Um, uh, what, what was it? Um, oh, my God, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh-huh. The uh, The Man Who Saw Tomorrow... Talking about the um, the prophet. Oh, Nostradamus. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something, something, something <laughs> along those kind of veins where it was like the two real main life ones stuff. I remember were the Bigfoot one. You remember yeah. when the guys were in the cabin? Oh man, <laughs> describe that, was, that scene. Was, that was scary shit. That was a horror <laughs> show. <laughs> so it was like a reenactment type thing, or was it meant to be like a, a it fictional was, movie? It was like a. It was like a docudrama. Docudrama, you yeah. know. So yeah. it, it was meant to be telling the story of Bigfoot and this and that, but they would do dramatizations of like these minor guys or something. Yeah, three or four of them in a cabin in the I don't know woods in Canada or somewhere. Yeah, and uh, you know these Bigfoot monsters start <laughs> throwing boulders on the roof, and one of the guys <laughs> is sleeping in his bed next to a window, and this arm goes. Whoosh! <laughs> that was like really the only good part of the whole movie. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because the rest of it was just yep, 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 yeah. yep. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember well, a lot of those those uh, those old kind of movies like that. That but, uh, In Search of was. It? Oh yeah, loved that. Yes, and a Nimoy. Hey, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't beat that. Yeah. Well, even the even the new ones that are on with, with Zachary Quinto. Yeah, uh, are actually pretty. Oh, good. I haven't seen any of those. So yeah. the season two is up now, and it, it's actually. Huh. Pretty, pretty good because he pays oh, homage to him. Not, yeah, exactly. Because he was, they asked him to do it, and he was like, he went. I guess, I guess he asked some of the family members, and they were gave him his blessing to, to do the to do the re, do the show mm-hmm. because they, they said be, nobody else could do it better than you. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Thank you for doing that. Mm-hmm. And he's now that means he needs to put out an album like me and Lloyd did. Do some singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little Hobbit song. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Yeah. The best little <laughs> Hobbit with the curse or whatever it is. I don't know. Ooh, that's actually uh, a YouTube video. Look it up. Yeah. You will not. I'll try it and put it in the show great. notes. And he's got like a turtleneck on. <laughs> yeah. There's a real song. And there's all the little. And the little 
female people. dancers, little yeah. go-go dancers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, goodness. It's a. Uh, it's time for a couple of gifts. For oh. The show. Uh oh. Okay. We can do that. We got yes. gifts. I got one more clip at to your play wall a minute ago, too. and I thought you already had this one, but oh. it's similar. Nice. Oh, that's awesome, dude. But a little <laughs> different. I like that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, it's very kind of similar much. to your zombie research facility. Over that's, yeah. uh, but it is definitely different, and we appreciate that. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. And then we've got uh oh, there's more. A couple of crazy vintage posters that oh, I honestly am not sure where I got, but I thought you guys might dig these. You may not have room for them. Oh, I bet we oh, might. Oh yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, we got we got room <laughs> behind the curtains. Genuine vintage. These aren't like reproductions. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. It's like oh the real God. thing. Oh, my God. Holy dude. crap. Well, let's yeah, that end up now. just a little bit so we can, yeah. That's yeah, I keep forgetting amazing. there's camera there. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. That is, dude, are you sure you can part with this? This is awesome. Yep. Holy crap. It's all dude. yours. I've got, there's things I have to part with, and I like to give them to people that I know will oh, appreciate man. them. Well, it's going up in the studio. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. Cool. Oh, another one. What's it gonna be? Going to Nothing you've ever heard of. <laughs> but it's still cool. The projected man. Oh, that is so shit. cool. Look at the glasses. Right? Wow. In Technicolor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I told I told Dave that was a that was a mystery science theater. Yeah, was it one project? You yeah. sure was. <laughs> Very in cool. The, in the late, I think the sci-fi years. Nice. It looks like an English production, especially because it's rated X, yeah, and that was yeah. the English designation for R, yeah. basically. Right, right. Before yeah, X yeah. was synonymous with porn. Oh my gosh, that is so cool, dude! Thank you so much. Yes, man. that's thank amazing. You. And then one last little. Oh my god, it keeps coming. <laughs> now, you guys know, like, when you see these. Uh, when you see like a ship at sea and they've got the cling 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 thing not, in the, not on the bridge uh -huh. that you know has like full stop and right yeah yeah backwards forwards right whatever. The, the nautical thing uh huh well this was from Lee of extraordinary gentleman <gasps> it was on the uh, Nautilus oh, which is Captain Nemo's boat shit. not screen used it's just an extra one that the set decorators or prop guys or whatever lean back into the mic just a little bit sorry you're, you're good i just want to make sure we can hear you um, and uh yeah that's what that is wow danielle's gonna flip she loves that movie my wife loves huh. yeah movie. yeah i mean i, I know it well, didn't, <laughs> didn't do great because of some of the stuff in it but because I mean, it's terrible <laughs> well i'm sorry it is but i mean there's movies i like that are terrible <laughs> well at least it's no haunted ween what I say? Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Oh, that is... Dude. Oh, my goodness. That's This is enough. That's wonderful. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is... That is... That hey, is man, that's so awesome. That, uh, Gifts for the show. Thanks. Thank you guys so, for having they, us. They, oh, it's so. awesome. Well, I got, I got one more... from both of us. I got, thank you guys thank very you much. Guys. Thank you. I got one more thing we're going to show. We're going to play a, another little, uh, little behind-the-scenes clip that you actually uh, sent me. Well, now... Do you want to set this up a little bit? I'll let you do it. Okay, well, you mentioned earlier that my girlfriend and I have gotten to work on a few shows together. Uh -huh. One of them was Alita Battle Angel. Which we have a poster up. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. there's a poster right up there. Lovely poster that I'm going to have to get a copy of. Um, <laughs> I mean, give me that one. You watch. a bad guy in the movie named Zapan who's kind of like, he's sort of like a RoboCop makeup. In other words, his skin ends like sort of here. Mm -hmm. Now, in the movie... When we shot the movie, when you see the movie, he's like a full-on robot, all this crazy stuff. And the only real thing is his face. The only real thing is Human. his, his yeah. face and his ears. Yeah. Yeah. But when we shot it, he's covered in like a gray coverall because visual effects did all the other crap. Yeah. Which is why when you see this clip, he's going to not look exactly like he looked in the movie. But he and I got to be good buddies, so we did a little skit, which yeah, is the video yeah. I, I sent you. There we go. <laughs> this was um, just touching him up one day against the green screen. So you had a good sense of humor then. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he didn't like being touched up. <laughs> 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 like, 
it's and awesome. that's Ed Scrine, who is one of the best, funnest dudes I've ever worked with. He was super awesome. nice guy. Super nice, just a sweet guy. And yeah, he was cool of him to do that. Yeah, definitely. Little, little play moment. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very cool, dude. Thank you guys so much for being on the show tonight. And uh, gosh, I feel like uh, there's always there's always like we could always probably end up digging around a few more drinks and keep talking forever but uh, we'll save that for another <laughs> podcast because I'm sure we'll have you back yeah. on someday yeah definitely are I you mean, going home Canada Romania no your next stop? <laughs> not, not Romania <laughs> no I'm going back to LA tomorrow and then I think on Thursday I go to Toronto and there for a couple of weeks and then hopefully no more travel this year because I hate to complain about it because I know I'm very lucky that you know, people want to fly me around for jobs, but I've done it like six or seven times this year, and it's really, really exhausting. Yeah. Just yeah. with all the airport crap. and Right. I'm just ready to be home <laughs> for yeah. a little while. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, every now and again, you do get some gigs in L.A. or, or that area, right? Well, most of the year. Yeah. yeah. Almost the first six months was all in L.A., and then all of a sudden it was like it got slow there, and there was, well, there's work here. You want to go there? And, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So got to go where the money is i guess where the work is yeah 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 so do you ever turn down anything just you're like man i don't want to go there i just <laughs> burn out the biggest thing i ever turned down was uh what was the will smith uh end of the world movie oh where he's in new york just with his dog yeah, yeah. and there's all those stupid vampire things that go yeah. you know when yeah. they started that trend oh, of yeah, the jaws yeah, opening the, that wide yeah. omega man remake yes yeah okay. exactly but it was called something. The le- legend of the... I am legend? Yeah, I am legend. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And at the time, every single makeup effects shop in town was doing designs for those makeups. Right. Like full body stuff and some amazing <laughs> work was done. But there was a fight between the director who wanted practical, meaning makeup. Yeah. And the producers who wanted it all to be digital. Because when you do it practically, the producer's looking at it from the point of view we got to bring all these people in four hours early and get all this makeup done. Yep. And then at the end of the day, when we finish, we got to clean them up. So we're spending a lot of money. So let's just do it all in post via computer. And I worked on some of the tests in town, and then a friend of mine sort of got awarded the contract, and he was going to New York with it. Mm-hmm. But I just knew. I just had this gut feeling that it was going to be a nightmare. So I turned it down, and I'm glad I did because in the end <laughs> – Everything they did, they they painted over with digital. Wow. There was nothing practical in that movie. And it looked like shit. It looked like, yes. Yeah, because the digital (laughs) effects then weren't as good as they are today. Yeah, no, well, and they just, yeah. Yep. But, yeah, that's that's one that I, and I've turned down a few little things just because, you know, if I ever get offered another thing with Rob Schneider, I'll turn that down in a flat heartbeat because <laughs> I don't like that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah, the, uh, and I'm not afraid a, to say it. You told us an experience <laughs> that you had with him uh, on the on an Adam Sandler, <laughs> Sandler movie that you did. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. And, not uh, my favorite people. Well, you know, some people they just aren't uh, they aren't nice to other people, and that's a shame. Mm-hmm. Or like the other gentleman that you used, uh, you know, that was in Alita that you Ed. just showed us. Yeah. That, uh, you know, goes out of his way to be super nice to you. Oh, man. I had him and I had Christoph Waltz. Those yeah. were my Academy Award on winner. That. So it's like, yeah. you, you're, I'll never get any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he was awesome, too. We were doing that movie during the election. We were working a night shift the night of the election when the returns were coming in. Yeah. And I don't usually talk religion or politics with at work yeah and certainly not with actors right unless i know that we're kind of eye to eye yeah because i just don't want to introduce that into it because right. you know i'm poking and prodding at them mm-hmm. for hours every day so they don't need that crap but i kind of realized he and i were the same in our feelings on the election so yeah uh, that made it interesting too but he fine. was he was a great guy cool very cool very cool so yeah. Well, gosh, I guess we'll I guess we'll go ahead and, and go ahead and wrap this up then. Um, thank you guys right. both so much hey, for being on. For and, uh, amazing. 
Hopefully amazing we'll... new studio. Thank yeah, you. Thank you very much. And, well, how uh, new is it? I mean, it's new. It's brand new to me because I yeah, haven't and been well, here Basically, before. We've, we've done... A little over a year now. Yeah, about, about a year. We've done yeah. maybe 15 episodes out of here, so... So yeah, a lot of them were the the Game of Thrones stuff that we that we focused on. So yeah, okay. so and then uh, and then now we'll be back to uh, to a lot of uh, interesting people. We got some things uh, some things lined up. Um, the um, um, well, I can't can't talk about it yet. No spoilers. Well, hey, exactly. Yeah, no spoilers all be yet. From here well, anyway. uh, well, uh, <laughs> that's true. Well, these are usually the highlight for us too. We really enjoy enjoy these. And uh, well, again, thank Jeffy you, man. And I gotta be, we got to beat the record. We got to be the most. You know, it's got to be like Letterman <laughs> or whatever. Who who was on Letterman the most out of yeah. all those years? Well, so, so far, y- you uh, <laughs> you have um, you're in, still in second place, I think, <laughs> to uh, Scott Sexton. Let's see, one. Yeah. Or you may have tied him this time. Yeah. I'll look it up. Well, I've done. I've really only done four. 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 So this will be your. We fourth. did the initial one. Yep. We did the one in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, and then you did one. Uh, uh, well, the first one was a uh, Skype call. Skype call. Second, yep. second oh, was in a right. studio. That's right. And then, and then, uh, and in then Atlanta, and then you guys here. came so to that's, Atlanta, that's four. and then here. So that's four. Yeah. Well, so. here's my proposal. Uh-huh. Next time we do one, yep, let's do a remote from my workshop. <gasps> that sounds great. Okay. Yeah. There's room enough <laughs> if you know we're tidy to set up the gear. We can do it. Heck yeah. Probably won't be able to fit that full. Oh no 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 no. Arsenal we'll, in. We'll we'll, we'll 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 make it work. Yeah. Because there's we can some fun stuff there to look at. Oh and yes, I I know there. I've been there. I I know some <laughs> yeah. of the stuff, and including we some might of the. Even be able to dig out some old haunted weed bits. And bits. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I gotta look and see if any of it still exists, because that stuff rots as time goes by. It's rubber. Well, so we're gonna start doing a, a GoFundMe campaign, <clears throat> just to get 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 Dave, and uh, or get uh, get uh, Tony and, and David to. Uh, to L.A. to to the workshop and uh, no no I mean the workshop That's here right, right. oh here yeah the, oh I thought you meant the one in L.A. no no my workshop in L.A. is half of a garage <laughs> yeah well <laughs> they went our trip to L.A. Day. damn no my I'm my just with you. no my no do that GoFundMe <laughs> to bring me here hey. there you go. Oh, <laughs> ding 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 now we have it. Oh. Now we know what to do. That's fun. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. But and, and that's also where you were doing a lot of little live casts and stuff like that too, right? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. And that's why I think because I don't think I took any of the haunted wing stuff out west. Yeah. That's why I think if I dig through those cabinets enough, I might come up with an odd fake head or something. Very cool. Very something, cool. Something. All right. Well, for the future then. Yep. All right. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for joining us on this episode of Escape Pod. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Escape Pod. If you enjoyed it, please like the episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to be a part of future podcasts, then email us at outbreakpodcast at gmail.com. And be sure to visit our website. Outbreakpodcast.com for more episodes, show notes, photos, and other podcasts on the Outbreak Podcasting Network. That's Outbreakpodcast.com.